Hello beautiful people and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and support as always. I really do appreciate you. If today is the first day you are coming across this channel, remember I am Agatha Progress channel here on YouTube and I come across your way every blessed day. You know the way we normally do it in this channel, we react to all videos and this channel, our opinion is highly needed. So today just carry your popcorn and let's deliberate on this issue because this issue is a very sensitive and is a very interesting one. In a dream, when you tell some persons that you are not in Nigeria, they will say, oh my dear body, I am in Nigeria. Yes. Before now, everybody claimed Nigeria. We believe in one Nigeria. We are so open to one Nigeria. But along the line, a lot of things has passed, transpired. A lot of things has happened. And a lot of things are taking the next direction. And a lot of us sat down and said, No, I am not welcome as one Nigeria. I'm not recognized as one Nigeria. One Nigeria is not working for me. The fact that it's working for others is not working for me. The person that can be so bold and said, Yes, I am in Nigeria. One Nigeria is working for me. It's just somebody that benefits. And the person has the mind and believe that he can change the Nigeria. And to Today I have a wonderful video that I want us to watch. What happened in this video? Kate Henshe of Nollywood. She was embarrassed. She was embarrassed when she traveled out of Nigeria. Ask me how. Do you know that she is vaccinated? Like she has taken the COVID uh, vaccine in Nigeria. She made the test and everything. Everything was okay, fine and good. Do you know that she traveled out of Nigeria to UK and the vaccine and her uh, receipts or her certificate that or her paper that uh, shows that uh, she is already vaccinated? They told her that it's not recognized in UK. Hmm. The vaccine they gave to people in Nigeria is not recognized in UK. What are we now saying? Now she cried that and she's explaining to people like, what? is in nigeria where is nigeria going to and where is nigeria today i laugh because you are you at you are a nollywood actress you act moving and you are one of the celebrity in nigeria people believe in you and you think that that is how the people believe in nigeria before now a lot of people has already divided their attention that they do not believe in one nigeria you still believe in nigeria because in one way or the other you are a celebrity and you carry along the name of nigeria so how come somebody that is vaccinated in United States of America going to a UK for instance and they tell the person that the vaccine, your certificate or your record that shows that you are vaccinated is not recognized among the vaccine that is being uh, distributed. What will, what, what will come into your mind? What will come into your mind? A lot of things will come into your mind. One. Where exactly this vaccine that I take? Where ever exactly? Who manifest this? Uh, manufacture this uh, vaccine? How do I got this vaccine? How did this country purchase this vaccine? Is it that they do it themselves? Or... There are a lot of questions. That is when you will know that Nigeria is not for you. They are just trying to delete people. Can't you see? Can't you get it? They are trying to delete some people, like they are saying these people, they are too much, these people, they are standing as interesting. Let's use this thing to remove some of them. That is the plan of the federal government of Nigeria. It don't really have any special plan for anybody. Honestly, it don't have it. There is no special plan. If this thing is working in Nigeria alone, and you can't be bold to take it outside Nigeria, that I of a truth am vaccinated, then ask yourself a lot of questions. Ask yourself a lot of questions. Is it really that this country is for me? Is this one Nigeria for me? What is the agenda of them doing this? Why can't I, why is it that my test, uh, COVID test, I can't use it outside Nigeria? They tell me it's not recognized. That is when you will know a lot of things. Now, if you carry that green pass, but the way they even treat you is something else. These are things that we need to put into consideration. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. This thing is not working. It only works in Nigeria. Then, who manufactured these things? Who brought this vaccine for us? Who brought it? Who manufactured it? How does it come into existence? Who are those people to take it? And what are the motive of us taking it when this thing is not recognized? Do you know that at the end of the day, these people will travel out of Nigeria and go and take the original one? I am telling you the truth. They will travel out of Nigeria and take the original one and come back to Nigeria and tell you they are vaccinated because they know very well that if they take the one of Nigeria and they move outside Nigeria, they must still take it again. So they, oh, they so much believe in the one that they will take outside Nigeria because they know very well that that is the original. Please be watchful. 
be watchful and be very vigilant. I'm not the one that said this, so Kate she is the one that said, and I'm going to play the video. You will watch it yourself. She did speak Igbo language. She speaks in English language that everybody worldwide will understand that this is what is going on. Nigeria is, is, is already covered. Honestly, it's covered. If by this time, you don't really know from your left to your right, you don't really know what to do and what not, then you got to ask yourself some questions. That is why referendum is the only option. Moving out of Nigeria is the only option. Like having a country that you know that you will be you will be you will be assured like your medication everything you will be you will be assured do you know that even to, to to go to hospital in nigeria is so expensive and you don't even get the proper treatment that you ought to now tell me the time that um daughters were on strike where did muhammad buhari went to he traveled uk to take the to take his proper treatments he stayed there, enjoyed himself, looked more fresh, and he came back. And you are there shouting for one Nigeria. When you don't have access to anything, my friend, think twice. Think twice if really Nigeria is for you or it's not for you. All right, my wonderful family, I have to drop the video so you watch it together and I will be right back. We need to do better. The people in positions of authority need to do better, much, much better. Going through the airport the other day, as we got to the place where you scan the luggage, the machine just stopped working. Stopped. And this is not the first time. People started scampering left, right and center to rush to another gate so that their luggage could be scanned. Then it was switched to manual checking or manual scanning of people's baggage. Getting to the check-in counter. System is not working. Boarding passes have to be written with hand. Handwritten. Flight number, seat number. In the 21st century, boarding passes are being handwritten in the 21st century in Nigeria. Doesn't make sense. And we have an aviation minister. We have people in charge of these sectors. The one that annoyed me the most. Please, where do our vaccines come from? That is not recognized anywhere. You come to the UK and you still have to quarantine for at least five days if you're doing tests to release. But then the usual thing is 10 days. Yet, I am fully vaccinated, but it's not recognized. Where did our vaccines come from? This is why there's still so many misconceptions out there about vaccine. The vaccine status is not recognized. Why? Minister of Health, can you explain? Can you tell us why? Look at Emirates. Look at Dubai. What they are doing. They are trying to protect themselves. Nobody trusts us. We have put ourselves in such a position that people don't trust us. Why? Because of the kind of leaders that we have who don't care. As long as they and their families are okay. Hey! To H with the rest of the citizens. No respect. Once they see green passports, it's a problem. Why get fully vaccinated, have my vaccine card, and yet when I travel, I cannot move out freely. I have to conduct another COVID test. One, two, three. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's annoying. And it's just so disconcerting. But we have leaders. We have people passing through that airport. Oh, I forgot the airport was leaking too because it rained that morning. It was leaking our international airport. It's beginning to look like something out of a, an archive movie. Something from the Stone Age. Yet that is the first part of call when people come to Nigeria. That's our international airport. Shame. Huge shame. Now that you heard from her, 
what is your take on this particular topic or what is your take mr and mrs one nigeria are you still convinced of being in nigeria you've seen that everybody is taking that they take it and they are happy can you be bold to take us in nigeria and come out of nigeria without nobody embarrassing you think twice that is why biafra is the only solution nigeria failed you but biafra will never fade you at this particular moment i say it should be well with the leader of biafra mazina de Kanu, who has come to open our eyes to see to know to detect and to test the true side of life all right i have to leave you here please if you know you haven't subscribed what are you then waiting for please click on that subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates see you when i see you bye